Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a long time since I've hosted anything or uploaded anything. Um, we have um, been, there's been a lot going on in my life. Um, and uh, some of it's good, some of it's not so good. And I'm trying to juggle all of it by myself and trying to figure everything out. Um... If you can tell by the title of this video, then obviously you kind of already have an idea of what's going on, but, um, yeah, there's no house anymore. <laughs> we canceled on the house about a month ago when I found out that Brian, um, was seeing someone. Um, yeah, he had a girlfriend. Uh, about a month ago while away at um, a training for work and they met there I guess from what I from my from my understanding that's from where they met and um, yeah uh, he was gonna try and keep it a secret and it ended up not being a secret because her husband messaged me on Facebook and sent me um, all the information I need and it's hard it's it's really hard um, to think that my best friend of seven years y'all and I have two kids with this person and um, just wasn't happy with me anymore and our marriage and had to find it elsewhere so um, there's no house. There's no more house. We canceled on it. Um, this is before I knew he did what he did or what he was doing. He canceled on it. We filed for divorce. I would say it's been about, it's been a month. No, we're still in September. So it's been a few weeks. It's been three or four weeks. Um, I got, he filed for divorce. I got my decree for let me make that real clear right now. I didn't file for divorce. I didn't want a divorce. I wanted to fight for my marriage. I wanted to fight for our boys and for our family. And um, then when I found out that he cheated and he had a girlfriend, I was like, my hands are up. I'm not doing this. Um, we are going to file. I don't want to do counseling. I don't want to do any of that. I'm done. So... I file my decree on next Monday, which is the, what's today? I don't even know what today is, y'all. Um, the 20-something. Um, I file my decree to get it processed, and then after that, after it's processed, um, it will be uh, finalized within 60 days. Um, within those 60 days, I have to go to the doctor. I have to go to the dentist, and I need to get... Um, just my stuff straightened out. Brian moved out. He has his own apartment now. Um, the kids, John is taking it more, obviously, he's taking it more to heart because it's his dad and his mom and dad aren't together anymore. They've been together his whole entire life and just we're not anymore. And um, it's hard. It's hard to see my baby go through that kind of that transition that change in his life and it's hard for me to see that um I can already tell some changes in him um behavior wise and we've been taking it day by day with him and trying to just kind of be patient and understanding with him Emerson on the other hand he's kind of just like he normally is just real chill mellow doesn't really care what's going on um but yeah, I have such an amazing group of friends and family that have stuck by me through this whole thing and have called me and texted me and hung out with me and listened to me cry and listened to my bitching and my venting and all that. I love y'all so much. And I was kind of hesitant because I've already made a couple videos over this before I found out that he cheated and um, I didn't post them. I didn't edit them. I didn't post them. I didn't do anything. I just kind of left them there in my, my MacBook and just kind of left them. And I'm glad I didn't upload because he made it seem like it was my fault that we were getting a divorce. He made it seem like it was 
I was the reason for everything. And I mean, obviously I kind of was because he wouldn't have done what he did if I, if I hadn't, if I had been the type of person that he needed or wanted that he saw in that other girl. I didn't just essentially lose a husband. I didn't lose the father of my children. I lost my freaking best friend who I thought was my best friend, who I thought who I was going to spend the rest of my life with. But things, life is funny. Life works out in funny, funny ways. And, um, I, I just have to keep telling myself there's a reason why there's a reason why there's a reason why. And one day I'll see that reason and maybe it's another, uh, someone new. Maybe it's, you know, um, someone new, maybe n- new, new changes coming along my way. Maybe the man upstairs was thinking, nope, you don't need this in your life anymore. Bye bye, Brian. Um, so it, it's it's different. It's hard, and the thing is that our divorce will be finalized the same month of our wedding anniversary. Imagine that. So it's it's hard, guys. It's so hard. Um, if I keep looking up, it's because Emerson's back there We're waiting in the pickup line to get John. He gets out in about ten more minutes. Um, Emerson went to sleep. He's night night. That's why I'm filming this because I. It's been hard, guys. I've been so stressed and kind of depressed and just, I don't know, just, 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 just. Um, my plans for moving on from this is just to concentrate on myself. Um, do the things I want to do. Um, make new friends concentrate on my kids really is my number one thing is just to concentrate more on my kids uh, not that I didn't concentrate on them before in my marriage but um my kids are my number one priority and they always have and they always will be and they will always be taken care of no matter what I think when I found out that he cheated on me I wasn't surprised because while he was away at training he had called me I think the the, because he was gone for two weeks it was the second week that Monday he called me and said there's something I need to talk to you about um it might end our marriage and it'll break your heart I just can't tell you over the phone right now because I just can't do that to you right now and so I instantly went to he cheated and then when he got home He was still gung-ho about getting a divorce, separating. He didn't want to be with me anymore. But he wouldn't tell me what he needed to tell me. And he told me that it was a test to see what I would say or do. And um, so he was playing games the whole time. And not just in our marriage, but outside our marriage, he was playing games. I haven't been to the house in over a month. I used to go every day and then check on it. And when Brian uh, canceled on it, uh, it's been less than a month. It's been about three, three weeks, almost a month. Um, When he canceled on it, I stopped going. Um, I think that's kind of what hurts the most is, um, is that we had all these plans And the thing is, you make plans, you make plans, you make plans, and... And it's weird because when I went over there while Brian was away at training, I had this sense of... This ugly feeling of, this isn't home. This isn't going to be my home. This isn't going to be our boy's home. And I had no idea why I felt that way. And I haven't told anyone this, but... I I truly did feel that sense of feeling of this doesn't feel like home anymore. This doesn't feel happy anymore. This doesn't feel exciting anymore. And that's why. A lot of people on Brian's side of this think I'm the bad guy. Think I'm the reason because Brian made me out to be the bad guy. 
from the get-go made me out to be the bad guy and that's okay that's okay it really is it's truly okay and if y'all are watching this and y'all are thinking amy's crazy no that's fine if you think that that's fine if you think that way about me that's fine it just shows your true character and how you perceive me and i'm saying this by his family and his friends and his friends that have our friends our family friends who have chosen him and what he's done over me and and not not necessarily taking sides but over taking him over what he did and not and not one single person that I thought was my friend has reached out to me and texted me or called me and said hey I'm sorry this is going on not one single person so you know who you are you know who you are and I know you watch my 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 videos and thanks thanks for being a true friend thanks for all of that um that felt kind of good to say but like I was saying, I was kind of hesitant to post this just because, um, not so much post it, but to video it, uh, just cause I don't want things to getting misconstrued and, and, um, I don't want people to take sides over this whole thing. I know Brian, one of Brian's ex-girlfriends is already at him on Snapchat, which is really funny to me. <sighs> Because Brian told me. So, if you're watching this too, hello. You know who you are. I know that you keep up with all my stuff. So, you got a shout out. You know who you are. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I, I truly am so excited for this year to end. Because new year, new beginning, new everything. And who knows? maybe a new man <laughs> no no um I'm not gonna put myself out there I don't want anyone else right now like I said I kind of just want to concentrate on my kiddos and make sure that they are taken care of and I'm taken care of and that's all that matters to me is my happiness and my kids happiness and see where life takes us um but yes I will leave it at that I will leave my peace at that and that's it I guess um if you are just now tuning in because of the um title of this video it's not clickbait not clickbait at all I am 25 and I am getting divorced awesome awesome if y'all are new hit subscribe hit the like button i want y'all to join me on this new single life of mine it is a single life i plan on posting some new stuff guys and i hope people will sit and watch and listen to me vent and talk and all that good stuff so i feel like i can be myself now which is kind of weird to say kind of sad to say but i really truly feel like i can be myself now and not necessarily that I wasn't myself before in the videos, but I feel like this sense of <sighs> relief that I can just be me and do me and be who I want to be and not worry about someone else. So, thank y'all for listening and thank y'all for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Hit subscribe, like this video, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.